And that's the news to this hour. I'm Bob Height. Thanks for being with us. On schedule, just about 22 minutes from the studio to the dock here in front of the house, and that's keeping to the speed limit. Hello, I'm Bob Height. Some of you may know me as the guy who covers Tampa Bay on television, but my neighbors here know me as the guy who likes to cover Tampa Bay on the old kinship here. Come on aboard. Uh, wondering how I found a spot like this so close to downtown Tampa? Well, it's truly one of the undiscovered treasures of Tampa Bay. And as a sailor, I'd kind of like to keep it that way. But as a reporter, well, it's a story I just can't resist telling. Let me show it to you on the nautical chart. Here's Tampa. Our TV studios are here, about in the center of town. And when I head for home, I take the Crosstown Expressway East, and that links up with the new section of I-75 South. And here's the exit where I get off to my waterfront home in Apollo Beach. Surprise? When we moved down here from Connecticut, we sailed around the bay looking for a waterfront home with a dock for the boat. That's when we discovered Apollo Beach, with home sites on deep water for maybe 25% of what they cost up north. That really got our attention. And so we settled here, and boy, we've enjoyed it every day since. What do you say we take a cruise on the kinship around this unique area? See those houses over there? They were built in about 1975. Some very prime real estate with beautiful waterfront settings. Going through a neighborhood like this, don't you always have that nagging feeling if you were only here when these lots were originally sold? How you would have bought one, right? That's the real undiscovered treasure of Apollo Beach. The opportunity to buy right still exists today. It's like Florida 10 or 15 years ago. Look at that vacant land off to starboard, situated on deep water, nice and high, and ready to be built upon. You Tampa Bay realtors should take a look at these places. This is the type of property people moving down from the north really get excited about. And of course, a lot of you already have. Some of the area's best builders are putting up some exciting houses here on great locations. There's a very nice selection of lifestyles here to pick from. You name the type of accommodations you're looking for, and it's probably available. At prices that may be the best in all Tampa Bay. And there are new ones going up all the time. Many of the homes are on waterfront lots, where you can keep your boat right in the backyard. You can literally look from your living room and see your boat tied up right at your dock. You can imagine what that means to a family that's had to drive for miles to a marina every time they wanted to use their boat. Just part of the reason why people get more out of life here. If we could all get in a helicopter, as our camera is now, we'd have a bird's eye view of the fantastic location of Apollo Beach. It's hard to believe that this beautiful waterfront area is only 17 miles from downtown Tampa. An almost undiscovered treasure with 55 miles of deep waterways and canals spread out over a community that encompasses more than 4,000 acres. Take a good look at these waterfront home sites, because they're a vanishing breed. This is the last of the available waterfront property on Tampa Bay. Sad, but true. When we're up here, we can also see Apollo Beach's direct on and off ramp to I-75 North. 
which connects to the Crosstown Expressway, running right into the center of Tampa. Driving time, about 22 minutes. So it's easy to see why Apollo Beach is now known as Tampa's waterfront neighbor. As I mentioned earlier, I'm a boater. But that's not the interest of everybody who lives in Apollo Beach. I have neighbors who moved here just to enjoy a daily round of golf at our Apollo Beach Golf and Sea Club. This challenging 18-hole championship course was designed by the legendary Robert Trent Jones. If tennis is your game, we have Apollo Rackets, a well-equipped tennis, racquetball, and fitness club. Plenty of chances to meet good neighbors for a good time. Can't forget my old sailing buddies at the Tampa Sailing Squadron. This well-known marine facility was founded as a private club in 1964. There's a familiar name, our Apollo Beach Holiday Inn, with good meeting rooms and a great restaurant and lounge on a lovely waterfront location. Holiday Inn people sure know the right location when they see it. Apollo Beach is ideal for families, too, and we're pretty proud of our public school system, educating our youngsters all through the elementary years, through our junior high school, and then on to East Bay High. For further education, it's available just minutes away in Tampa and Brandon, from technical schools to some very well-rated colleges and universities. On the business side of things, the area's banks certainly have discovered Apollo Beach. They've opened some very convenient facilities right here in town. The group of merchants who have invested here have prospered too. And as a result, we have an excellent array of shopping facilities. Just about every service you could think of. When you see names like these, it means one thing. An area that's growing steadily year by year. Perhaps that's the one thing that underscores every activity in Apollo Beach our growth, and we're well prepared for it today and tomorrow. Our planners have tied the development of our new utilities to match the rate of growth of the community, so we won't be caught short down the road. Our medical services revolve around three well-equipped medical centers and nearby area hospitals. And our police and fire protection meet the most up-to-date standards. But perhaps what has influenced Apollo Beach most has been the amazing growth of the entire Tampa Bay region. With the construction of I-75 South, we've become a true bedroom community. And not just to Tampa, but to other Bay areas, like Brandon. There are even people that live here and work in St. Petersburg. So the undiscovered treasure of Tampa Bay isn't so hidden after all. I hope you'll come on down and see for yourself. But please, do me a favor. Don't tell everybody. Thank you.